Hey guys, here's a book you've probably not heard. It's called David's Father, and it's another Robert Munch book. And this is a little, a little tiny book. So I'm going to read it to you from this little tiny book. David's Father. Well, when Julie was skipping home from school, she came to a large moving van. A man came out carrying a spoon, only it was as big as a shovel. A man came out carrying a fork, only it was as big as a pitchfork. A man came out carrying a knife, only it was as big as a flagpole. Yikes, said Julie. I don't want to get to know these people at all. She ran all the way home and hid under her bed till dinner time. The next day, Julie was slip skipping home from school again. A boy was standing where the moving van had been. He said, Hi, my name's David. Would you like to come and play? Julie looked at him very carefully. He seemed to be a regular sort of boy, so she stayed to play. Hmm. At five o'clock, from far away down the street, someone called, Julie, come and eat. That's my mother, said Julie. Then someone called, David. That's my father, said David. Julie jumped up in the air, ran around in a circle three times, ran home and locked herself in a room till it was time for breakfast the next morning. The next day, Julie was skipping home and she saw David again. He said, Hi, Julie, do you want to come and play? Julie looked at him very, very carefully. He seemed to be a regular boy, so she stayed and played. When it was almost five o'clock, David said, Julie, please stay for dinner. But Julie remembered the big knife, the big fork, and the big spoon. Well, I don't know, said Julie. Maybe it's a bad idea. I think maybe no. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Well, said David, we're having cheeseburgers, chocolate milkshakes, and a salad. Oh, said Julie, I love cheeseburgers. I'll stay, I'll stay. So they went into the kitchen. There was a small table with cheeseburgers, milkshakes, and salads. On the other side of the room, there was an enormous table. On it were a spoon as big as a shovel, a fork as big as a pitchfork, and a knife as big as a flagpole. David, whispered Julie, who sits there? Oh, said David, that's where my father sits. You can hear him coming now. David's father sounded like this. Broom, broom, broom. He opened the door. David's father was a giant. On his table, there were 26 snails, three fried octopuses, and 16 bricks covered with chocolate sauce. David and Julie ate their cheeseburgers, and the father ate the snails. David and Julie drank their milkshakes, and the father ate the fried octopuses. David and Julie ate their salads, and the father ate his chocolate-covered bricks. David's father asked Julie if she would like a snail. Julie said, no. David's father asked Julie if she would like an octopus. Julie said, no. David's father asked Julie if she would like a delicious chocolate-covered brick. Julie said, no, but please, may I have another milkshake? So David's father made her another milkshake. When they were done, Julie said very softly so the father couldn't hear, David, you don't look very much like your father. Well, I'm adopted, said David. Oh, said Julie. Well, do you like your father? He's great, said David. Come for a walk and see. So they walked down the street. Julie and David skipped, and the father went, Brum, brum, brum. They came to a road and they couldn't get across. The cars would not stop for David. The cars would not stop for Julie. The father walked into the middle of the road. 
looked at the cars and yelled, Stop! The cars all jumped into the air, ran around in a circle three times, and went back up the street so fast they forgot their tires. Julie and David crossed the street and went into a store. The man who ran the store didn't like serving kids. They waited five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Then David's father came in. He looked at the storekeeper and said, These kids are my friends. The man jumped up in the air, ran around the store three times, and gave David and Julie three boxes of ice cream, 11 bags of potato chips, and 19 lifesavers all for free. Julie and David walked down the street and went around a bend. There were six big kids from grade eight standing in the middle of the sidewalk. They looked at David, they looked at Julie, and they looked at the food. Then one big kid reached down and grabbed a box of ice cream. David's father came round the bend. He looked at the big, big kids and yelled, Beat it! They jumped right out of their shirts. They jumped right out of their pants and ran down the street in their underwear. Julie ran after them, but she slipped and scraped her elbow. David's father picked her up and held her. Then he put a special giant bandage on her elbow. Julie said, Well, David, you do have a very nice father after all, but he is still kind of scary. You think he's scary, said David. Wait till you meet my grandmother. <laughs> and that, my friends, was called David's father. By Robert Munch. Did you enjoy that? If you did, please subscribe because there's lots more to come. And if you click the bell for the notifications, you won't miss anything.